guys, it's Megan and today I'm going to bring you a review and comparison on two of the Evie bags from Rebecca Minkoff. I don't know why that's such a tongue twister to me, but I have the Rebecca Minkoff Evie flap bag and I have the color cherry wood and I have the, I think pretty new Evie crossbody bag in cashmere. So I'm going to go over both of these, compare them, and just kind of tell you all my thoughts. And like, just at a really, really like high level, I enjoy both of these bags so much. I purchased the Edie Flap right at Black Friday, like Cyber Monday or something like that last year. And it took me a while to really get into this bag. I don't know, I, I liked it, but I didn't really use it. And then all of a sudden I just started reaching for it and it's been my daily bag for the past month or two. Rebecca Minkoff has so many different like colors and styles of the Evies. And this one I believe was like a limited color in cherry wood. And I love this like really deep reddish like maroon. It's so beautiful. And it does have the gunmetal hardware, which I typically don't like gravitate towards that. But in this style i just really loved it so you also have the either double strap or you can extend it to be a crossbody which is how i primarily wear this so one thing with the edies is that you can either extend the chain from the front or the back so i like to do it where the back has the flap and then you can't really see it in the front. This isn't adjustable other than those two or three ways of doing it, like either over the shoulder or having it in the front or the back, um, but it hits me right at the perfect spot. And I'm 5'7 and have a long torso, so let me show you it also on the shoulder. And it's just a really nice size. So you'll notice with all of the EVs that it kind of looks the same from the front with this like clasp or buckle or whatever you want to call it but you don't have to do that to open it. It has a magnet on the flap and my really only complaint about this bag is the magnet. It's very strong which is nice but it's like almost too strong that I struggle with it. But then it doesn't easily line up a lot of the time. And like, I just feel like I'm really pulling on this part of the leather, which I don't like. So that's one thing I would say, like it's good to have a strong magnet, obviously, cause that's how the bag closes, but it just is a little too strong and then it's not strong in the sense that it just finds itself to close it. Like you have to basically perfectly line it up, which when I'm like out and about and trying to put my wallet back in after like paying for something, it just feels like I can never close my bag and it's very annoying. So on the inside, it's just like a more canvas type of material. And then in the EV flap, it has a back section with a zip pocket, a middle section with a zip pocket, and then a front section. So this is a really, really roomy bag, which I wasn't expecting. And this is honestly one of the roomiest bags that I have. And I think that's why I didn't really gravitate towards it as much at first, because it almost felt too big. And I still don't really utilize most of the space in here because I just don't carry a lot in my purse, especially these days when I'm just running out for something quick and coming right home. But this is really nice to have more than enough space in here. And um, I actually still have the tag on both just so I remembered like all the information. So uh, the original retail price is $2.98 for the Evie flap. And then the Evie crossbody is $2.19. So it is a considerable price difference. And with 
Rebecca Minkoff or any brand I always wait until there's a sale so both of these I got either 25 or 30 percent from the Rebecca Minkoff website directly so just pay attention to their sales if you're interested in these so pretty much in the front pocket I just have my wallet hand sanitizer and two lip products and like it's just all thrown in there so it's not a highly organized system that I have with this bag. I could use this middle po pocket for more things but I actually don't have anything in it at all but if I was like using this bag for like a like vacation or something like that this would be awesome to have like in that middle pocket like maybe my passport or like things that I want to keep as protected as possible but still accessible and like kind of separated that middle pocket is really nice and then in the back pocket I just have <laughs> other random stuff I have a little pocket mirror a pen a hair clip and then my vaccination card so and then it does have this back um, zipper pocket but again I don't have anything in there so there is a plenty of storage I would say and then the back which this is a great detail that I just love about any bag is that it has a back slip pocket but it is magnetized so again now the magnet is a little bit um weaker I guess after I've used it for a few months but I always put my phone back here and I have the iPhone 8 plus and it just fits perfectly with plenty plenty of room to spare um so if you had a bigger phone there would be no problem fitting it in there and then even if this is magnetized <laughs> this is a new thing that i discovered these little side slits where the magnet like doesn't close i can actually fit my phone still if the pop socket would co cooperate i could still fit it in there without even unlatching the magnet so if the magnet's being like extra strong I don't even have to unmag undo the magnet to get my phone in there. One thing that like I knew going into it but that I wish was easier to update about this bag is that there's no top handle. So these chains, first of all they're very, very loud, um, but also like when you're just trying to grab this out of your car or like I usually put my purse like behind me in my car if someone's in the passenger seat. When I try to like get it, it's just like all flopping all over the place and I went to the doctor recently and like had to set it down and it was just like <sighs> like so loud when the chain like was on the chair and stuff like that. So there are some things that aren't ideal about this bag. Like I would love if it had a little top handle or even if this was just stationary like this and you could just use this little piece as a top handle. The chains in here like you can see how they are in there. I wonder if there's a way to almost like latch something to here that keeps the handle like stationary so then I could use this other strap that I don't really use because I almost never put it on my shoulder because it like always falls off. Um, but I just wonder if there's something I can put there like a little stopper or something like that to make the strap like stay. So if you have any ideas about that, let me know. But overall, I would give this bag easily a 9 out of 10. 10 out of 10 would be if the magnet just like wasn't as difficult and found itself a little easier and really that's the only problem like the chains I just knew they would be loud because of how chains are so that is kind of an in-depth breakdown of the ED flap then I recently got the ED crossbody because like I said I feel like the ED flap is huge for what I need to carry for day to day and I just loved this color this is in cashmere and right now this is sold out but I really hope it is only temporary and they'll bring it back um but this has the antique silver hardware 
So at first I thought maybe it was the gunmetal. You can see it easier when you compare them side by side. So the gunmetal on this side that I'm holding right now, um, you can see that it's much darker and even like shinier than the antique silver on this bag. So like I said, I don't normally go for like gunmetal or even silver hardware, but this I just thought was such a pretty combination and I just loved it. So again, you have the front flap that is a magnet and this magnet seems a little less tough. Like it opens a little easier and then this bag is much more simple. So it's just the leather on the inside and it's just one pouch. Like there is nothing to it other than a zipper pocket. There's only a zipper pocket at the back of the purse, but other than that, it's completely just one compartment. So the Edie crossbody is a lot smaller than the Edie flap. And I think that's one thing that you can't really tell very easily on the Rebecca Minkoff website is the difference between the two. So it's definitely shorter and not as wide on the side and obviously just a little bit smaller overall. And another difference is that the chain, the handle is shorter. So you can do it on your shoulder and it's just obviously a smaller purse. The crossbody strap itself is actually shorter. So it just sits a little bit higher up on my waist. And if I did it this other way that I prefer, it's even a little bit shorter. So you can see this one hangs a little lower and this one is a little bit higher. I hope you can see that. I can like feel it easier than I can see it. It's just a little bit shorter. So I just recently got this purse and oh, I forgot to say it does have the back pocket as well with a magnet and this pretty much perfectly fits my iPhone 8 but there's 8 plus but there is definitely some room if you had a bigger phone. It just doesn't, I guess it does magnetize but it's not as roomy of course as the other one and I have to make sure the magnet is undone or I can't fit my phone um, if it's still mag magnetized. So I want to see what I can fit from my EV flap into this purse because it is quite a bit smaller. So I'm just going to put my wallet in here. I have my hand sanitizer. I really don't need this little mirror. Um, and then I could put my lip products and the pen in the back zipper. And that is pretty much all that can fit. There is a little bit of room in there if you wanted to stuff some more stuff in there, but really that would be as much as I would want to put in. And then my phone in the back slip pocket is where I would pretty much always have it. And so that like fills it up, I would say. And <laughs> on the other side, when I had m even more stuff in the ED flap, this was like empty basically. So it really depends on how much stuff you carry around. And really it depends on like the occasion that you're going to be using it. This is a perfect bag for me from day to day when I don't need to really carry much. But if I was going like I said, traveling or something like that where I want more things at the ready, I would much prefer to take the ED flap because it is just so much more space and I wouldn't have to worry about, oh, if I got something else that I had to put in my purse, like I would still have space to put it. Like if I got anything else, I would really have to like shove it in here and I've done that in the past where I overstuff purses and it's really not what you should do to preserve the quality of your like leather goods. So this is as full as I would really feel comfortable with and it's literally just my <laughs> wallet and my hand sanitizer basically and my phone on the back. So it doesn't hold a lot. So that's why I thought it was really important to do this comparison because 
you can really really see the difference of the capacity of these bags and I love both of them they're perfect for me for different occasions and different needs like if I was vlogging my vlogging camera wouldn't be able to fit in here in this crossbody with my other things like it would pretty much only fit my um camera and nothing else but when I'm vlogging and I take my ED flap it fits in there with no problem and I still have plenty of room for all my other stuff so I would say for the most versatile bag I would recommend the ED flap and I know they have the ED maxi as well which was so beautiful to me but I can't imagine something even bigger than this like obviously I can imagine it but like I don't know how much use I would get out of a bag even bigger than this when this is already almost too big for me for day to day. Um, so if they ever come out with that style where it's like that puffy leather but in the ED flap size, I'm first in line. Like I want that like design so bad. Um, but I hope this was helpful for you guys. I think that these are both gorgeous bags super high quality I would recommend <laughs> it's a little bit floppy <laughs> if there's nothing in it but I would fully recommend both of these bags always try to get them on sale because they will always go on sale and I just don't think you would be disappointed with either of these with both of these um, like I said I'll use them for different purposes on different days different outfits different occasions and oh, this one's my new baby so <laughs> I'm like really attached to it right now but I love both and I've never been disappointed with Rebecca Minkoff purses that I've purchased so I love both of these and I hope that you guys found this helpful and informative and if you're gonna pick up one of these let me know and I would love to talk to you all about purses in the comments down below. So thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!